Are you looking for a way to stand out among the thousands of resumes on the Cabin Crew Recruitment Day? Today, we will deep dive into how to use keywords to make sure your resume stands out among the rest. Hi, I'm Ruth, and I help aspirants simplify the complicated cabin crew interviews. Before we start, I want to give a shout out to the first class members. Who are the first class members? They get an access to a live video stream with me every Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Philippine time. Every member get a live access to me where I answer members' questions live, give lessons such as how do recruiters judge you on the day of the interview and so much more. If you want to be a member, go ahead and click join on this channel next to the subscribe button and I will see you on Wednesdays. Team player, assertive, led, exceeded expectations, enthusiastic, excellent service, awarded, flexible, cultured, here are a few examples of keywords that you may use on your resume that resonates with the cabin crew role. But on this episode, I don't want to just slap you with keywords. I want you to understand the reason behind it in order for you to use this weapon to your advantage to your specific application. So this is how it works. Cabin crew role has certain skill set and qualities tied into it, right? Those skill sets and qualities are the ones that the recruiters are looking for in a candidate in the first place. And the first place that the recruiter will look for it is, you guess it right, in the resume, in the written documents that you send to them. Even before they assess you for the physical symptoms of the qualities, they may want to look into it on your documents like resumes, CVs, and cover letters. On all of these evaluation stages, 100% they will be referencing to the skill sets and qualities that you have written on your resume and score you against it. Once you understand this concept, you really have a fighting chance of standing out among the rest. Now to level up your application game, you need to know where do you find these keywords. The first place to look for these keywords is their own job advertisement issued by the same airline that you are applying for. We all know every airline is different. Some are more traditional and conservative while others are more fun oriented and modern. So you should customize your resume according to this factor. Before I show you an example of job advertisement and how you can literally copy paste the keywords from their post to your resume. If you are loving this content so far, please let me know by liking this video or leaving a podcast review if you are listening over at our podcast channel, Fly Podcast with Miss K. Chris. That helps me a lot and you have no idea how much it makes me so, so happy and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. On the example here, an advertisement by the Philippine Airlines, they have set qualities they are are looking for. I do have a certain step that I do when I am applying for a certain airline and it is so easy to do this. It's just three steps. First one is get the advertisement, read it, and highlight the quality words or skills words. Any words that you may want to transfer to your resume. So in this example, I'm doing just that. And then step two is collect all the highlighted words and then you try to either use the exact same word or you could spin it or use a different word that means the same thing that means revise or reword and then use that in your resume so in this example here the keywords that we have collected so far is passion to serve customers help their team succeed bring positive change find fulfillment in helping others a sparkling personality that can inspire impress and attract who exude warm and confidence when dealing with others from all walks of life so this this is a very specific quality that they are looking for, especially when they started using Tagalog words like magaling, maasahan, reliable, or maalaga, magalang. So, PAL has their own branding, as you can see, and they want to see this in their applicants as well. So, the first thing that you could convince them that you are the applicant that they're looking for is put their exact same words on your application, or even if it is like a revised version of it. So, as you can see, I'm just trying to put here 
hear the Tagalog words and make a version that is the English, which is exactly the same meaning like excellent, reliable, caring, respectful, sweet. So these are the key core values that Paul is trying to exude and trying to look for in a candidate. So these are the same keywords that you may want to use on your resume. Okay, so right here you can see in my resume, I'll just have to, once I have reworded the keywords, I will just have to try find a way to fit them in. So where can you put them? You could use these keywords, you just insert them under qualities and skills in the CV. The action words is applicable. You could use it as an action word describing different duties and responsibilities you have held in the past. So you could use it under employment and then under job duties and responsibilities use these words passionate passion to serve customer you know what i mean it will just click in your head how do you do it it's like a puzzle piece that you just have to put together and the final product should flow it shouldn't look so stitched together it should have a flow to what the resume is talking about as well it shouldn't look out of place you just have to make it seem like it was a seamless transition from the job advertisement to your resume so exactly what you're trying to say here is i am the one you're looking for this resume that i am showing you right now is a resume template that i have created for the hashtag faa toolbox we have two templates available for each document that you need on your application one is for fresh graduates which have absolutely no experience and the other one is for experienced applicants how do you transfer your experience and skills from another industry to the cabin crew industry that is what we are focused on in this template we also have an index guide over at the faa toolbox what it is is a list of keywords for cabin crew specific qualities and skills that you may use or reference to in your resume just to jog up your brain for some ideas and brainstorming and what you can put on your resume of course you would also reference the own skill that you have if you have those and if you can defend those on your face-to-face -face interview this is something that i wished i had when i first started out because i've been racking my brains out on what to put on my resume before so this is available on my course hashtag faa toolbox course let me know in the comments below if you have used keywords on your resume applications before just comment yes or no on the comment section down below next monday we will dive deep about how the pandemic changed the cabin crew recruitment 2022 so the next video i would recommend for you to watch is the 10 things i would do differently if i were applying for the cabin crew position today if you want to have a bigger picture on how the recruitment have changed and not changed and also my strategy for the current times that we are in if i were applying today click on that video on your screen right now if you are curious on the many many things that i would change if i were to apply today thank you so much and i will fly with you soon bye here we come come with me there's a